Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon video. This time we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the super complete selection animation DARC version Takato Ultimate. So this is of course following the other DARC Super CSAs which I've previously covered on this channel so you can check out those videos if you haven't already but for now we'll be looking at the Ultimate version of the DARC and I'll try not to beat up my light box too much because I think the uh, the light part of the light box is uh, dying a small death. So we'll try to. There we are. That that looks better. So here is the box for the version ultimate. Now I do think this is cool. I do like the super CSAs, but the fact that they did a a version ultimate one is kind of a little bit annoying. I would have preferred if they had just stuck with the three and maybe made Takado's one just the version ultimate but of course Bandai wants money which makes sense don't we all so of course that's why we have another version ultimate though I can't imagine it being too different from the previous D arcs for the Super CSA so we'll open that up and of course we have the red card right there. But it is weird to me that we got the red one because it had all the evolutions there on it so it feels kind of like okay we've got the red one with the evolutions to Mega despite in the anime the ult the ultimate D arc is uh, when he, he being Takato gets to Mega for the first time because his Digivice breaks when he gets the dark evolution. So we'll just, I'm, I am struggling. There we are. So we've got our cards, which are the ones that the Digivice can read because they are thick plastic NFC cards. So I'm glad that we're using that technology. That's pretty cool. Rather than inputting a code, like with the Digivice release that they got in Japan, where you had to enter a code that was on the bottom of the card and then you would swipe it. So it wasn't really as... Uh, it was, wasn't really exactly like it is in the show because you actually had to input the code and then you had to swipe literally any card. So that's pretty cool. And then we have my favourite part is removing a sticker from the screen. And we've got some stickers on either side here to keep that paint job safe. So we'll take that off as well. And yeah, I'm just really struggling. I did just come back from the gym though, so uh, if you're noticing me, sh my arm's shaking a little bit, it's, it is because I, that, is, that is something that just happened. So we've got our speaker there, we've got where we swipe our cards here, the card reader, and the flat back where, oh that's, no there are screws, I was about to say, oh there are no screws, I'm like no, I think we did the same, exact same dance with the uh, previous ones where it was just like a screw cover. Which is a nice touch. I do like that. It makes it look more show accurate. I'm just going to use my trusty screwdriver to open this up. Did I use the right head? Yes, I did. Oh, I am struggling still. And we've got our AA batteries, which for the first time in my life, I actually remembered prior to recording. So I've got that going for me at least. Got our batteries in, and already the screen is starting to get a little bit dirty. I, I don't know how that is happening. I'm not sure that there was just. Oh, I think I think it's because I rested it on against this, and yeah, yeah, that's what that is. Little bits of card. I'm just gonna wipe off that screen, and I also turned it on by pressing the on button. So we have the Gilmon egg there. So similar start to the regular other Super CSAs, the non-ultimate versions. So here are our settings, our voice lines. So the 
The speaker is the same quality as the previous CSA Super CSA D arcs, which is a little bit of a disappointment because the dialogue is quite fuzzy. The speakers on the non Super CSA Digivices so far have been better than the Super CSAs, which is surprising because the Super CSAs are probably about three or four times more expensive than the regular, just the CSAs. And if you're wanting a bit of more of a comparison between the Super CSAs and the regular CSAs, I have covered that in previous videos, but effectively they just make noise and they just have lights. There's no display here. The screen might light up in colours and the Digivice body itself lights up and there are different lines of dialogue, it plays music, but other than that, it's just that. The Super CSAs have special functionality like the card swipe, like that, and of course the actual screen display here, which is what makes it a Super CSA rather than just a regular CSA. So it has that extra added functionality and I've already done this in a previous video, but there's also the Super CSA D scanners, which is the Digivice from Frontier, and they use hand motions and you can scan your hand and scan things and scan uh, the other D scanner. So that's sort of like the added functionality there. I do, however, prefer the card swiping mechanic for this Super CSA as opposed to the D scanner one. However, the D scanner one vibrates when you scan it and I just think that's pretty cool, but otherwise I do prefer this. So the main functionality is you grab one of these cards, Oop, I grabbed two there, you swipe it and it plays the animation there for whatever the card is that you just swiped. And then you get the animation and the animation is pretty cool. It is effectively just the animation from the show. I'm going to try to talk over this as loud as I can on the basis that uh, it, this video will get copyright claimed by Toei because of using this sound, so I'm trying to uh, basically just stream off as much as many words to sort of uh, potentially get in the way of that uh, copyright claiming because it's copyrighted music, obviously. Or oh, but ha perhaps the uh, quality of the speakers is so low quality, maybe it'll just uh, not be able to pick it up at all. So yeah, we have our evolution there that we got from doing that card swipe. So it's a pretty cool mechanic. I really think it's cool. That's probably one of the main draws for the Super CSA D arcs because you can use the card slashes, which are really, really cool. Which, is, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's just nice to see. So let's check out our other functionality. We've got evolution. So we can have that evolution without uh, using a card swipe. So, which is pretty cool. So I've got Takato basically saying the dialogue from the episode where he gets the dark evolution, where he's like, "Yes, evolve to evolve to Mega, evolve to Mega." It's very cool. From memory, this evolution wasn't in the non-ultimate version. I do love Mega Dramon, I think he's really cool. And we've got the background music from the actual show and the moment that this happens as well. But effectively all the animations are just straight from the anime and see we've got the cracking of the Digivice screen that happens in that episode, which again is why his Digivice then upgrades itself to the ultimate one because the red one gets broken during this moment. So now he's going to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of trauma because he's got a broken screen Digivice. So that is, that is that is pretty cool. I don't know if it just goes like this forever and I have to like reboot it, which would be cool, I guess. But yeah, it's just the dialogue from that episode.
yeah, back to what I was saying about the speakers is that it is kind of a shame. It feels like they've cut a bit of a cost there to not have better quality speakers. Like, as I mentioned, the cheaper regular CSAs have or seemingly sound a better quality than this. This one is kind of muffled a little bit on the fuzzy side. So it's something that is surprising when I found that the CSAs have clearer sound. Is it just the entire, like, all, all of the lines in the dialogue? Not, not just, like... Okay, and, and then it just goes back to regular Gilmon. So we've got that evolution functionality where it plays the evolution animation and then you get whatever the evolution is on the screen. We've got Digimon Explained, which is the analyzer, which, again, that's the display that shows on the on the TV show, so that's pretty cool. So they're effectively very expensive cosplay props, but I really do like how they're, they're more than just, I guess, cosplay props. Like, I use... When if I'm cosplaying a character from the original Digimon Adventure, I'll just use like a CSA, and because they don't have all the CSAs for all the characters, I've had to use like the pedometer toys for some of them. But this one, I guess, is probably more expensive than I would probably want to use as a cosplay prop if I'm going to a convention or something. Uh, but it is cool, and I guess they're pretty cool role-playing ones as well. So we've also got the Digivice, the Digimon Search, sorry, which is again another functionality from the show. Of course, it's not really a game or anything, it's just kind of a cool thing. We've got settings, which have the display on there, the card slash voice, brightness, sound volume, and then, yeah, that, that's what we'd expect for settings, basically. And that is effectively all the functionality on it. Again, it's pretty cool, very expensive, but I would say I, I would say if, if you're a collector and a fan of the series, they're definitely always worth it. I really like them. There's a lot of thought that went into them. I like how the battery door has that little cover there because that's how it looked in the show. All the pedometer toys for the D-Arc and the D-Power don't have this. They have like a screw here. This makes it more show accurate and that's what they effectively are. They're meant to be show accurate display pieces with some like fun... Uh, mechanics and functionality, that being the card swipe mechanic, which again I'm I'm a big fan of. So we'll do it one more. See, so yeah, it is really cool. It is it is weird that the card slash song isn't played here. Like that's something I f I find a bit weird. Like they play the evolution track, which again I'm going to talk over, and they play all the other evolution music, but card slash has the card slash song. And we, we, I guess we're just not getting that on the uh, on the card slash moment. So I'm not sure why they've decided to not have the card slash sound. I find that a little bit kind of disappointing, I guess. But all the other music's there, which is cool. And yeah, we have... How do I get to the, there? So you've got the sounds... So you've got the other characters, you've got Granny, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so effectively it is just a really cool toy. I'm a big fan of these, they look really nice. I'm very much looking forward to the uh, the D3 ones that are coming out soon, or next year I believe. So that that's pretty exciting. But most of all, I really would love to see what they would do with the Digivice IC, which is the Digivice from Digimon Savers or Digimon Data Squad. While I would prefer like a virtual pet one because the original Japanese release of the Digivice IC was a virtual pet, not like a uh, quest-based pedometer toy like the other Digivices, I would love to see them do that again. However, I would also like to see them do uh, the virtual pet uh, sorry, not not the virtual pet, but the uh, Super CSA version of this of the D of the Digivice IC. I think that'd be really cool to see what they would come up with. 
when they first announced these super CSAs for the D arc, I was like immediately, I want to see them do the D scan, and then they did, and I'm like, this is exactly what I thought it would be. It was it was perfect to do the D scan of, but again, I like the cards in the uh, the D arc version. But anyway, that's it for the ultimate edition of the super CSA. Is it worth it? It depends. Honestly, it depends. Um, unfortunately, these are all premium Bandai, so you effectively have to get them during the pre-order window or be at the mercy for whatever resellers and retailers want to charge them at. In terms of where I get them from, this video is not sponsored, but you can get these sort of things from Japan you want, Zen and TCG, Hobby Genki. Army Army has pre-orders open for the D3 Super CSA, so I've used them before. I often use Hobby Link Japan for a lot of things. Hobby Link Japan is usually one of the cheaper ways for a lot of these things. However, they don't always get premium Bandai items. So it's always worth to check them though because they are the ones that I've... It, they've probably also been around the longest, but I do love Hobby Link Japan. But uh, yeah, so that's it for the ultimate version of the Super CSA. Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, etc, etc in the comment section below. Like this video for, I guess them remembering other seasons exist, hopefully, hopefully savers. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, tell your enemies, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!